Hello, my name is Moxley from Hall Android, where we get on Android every day. I mean, today we're going to take a quick look at CR Droid GSI with Android 10. The phone runs really great. You can also install this on many other Android phones. So long as your phone supports Project Treble, you can install this. Let's go and take a look. Hi right, guys, if you're looking for an excellent used phone, an older phone, Xiaomi Mi 9, a very good device to get. Three cameras on the back. Of course, one of the things that comes with this phone is my UI, uh, stock firmware. I really don't like it. Um, I just don't like the way it's set up, so I like to run stock vanilla. So I've installed CR Droid GSI, and it's running nearly flawless. A very fast performance over MUI, uh, my UI. I've got uh, Majisk running, I've got uh, everything working including fingerprint sensor. Um, there is no face unlock on this particular GSI, but one thing good with CR Droid uh, is that safety net passes uh, without doing any kind of uh, Majisk hide. Uh, actually not Majisk hide, but uh, without doing the prop uh, hack to make it pass. So you can see uh, it passes just fine. And my Google Pay works also very good. And you can go ahead and hook up your cards to Google Pay. That's going to work out convenient in these COVID-19 times. This is probably the fastest running phone that I have, even though I have an S20 Ultra. I've got Samsung firmware, just make it super duper slow. Even though it's Snapdragon 855, it's still faster than I would say 865 with this GSI. Also, there's a bunch of ROMs you can install. Uh, also, you do get always on display, uh, but one of the things is that it's uh, the bet the screen brightness is too high so I just turned it off to save battery life it's just been a very solid experience and this is actually my daily driver for Korea this phone is really good for Korea because I pick up LT plus speeds here uh, my US model of Galaxy S20 Ultra doesn't so that's why I switched back to this one really like it of course you can use that button as Google Assistant all right which is nice or you can just hold that down for Google Assistant uh, as far as cameras, that's one thing that I'm working on. You cannot use all three cameras of, for the back, but as far as the main cameras, they work just fine with the AOSP camera. Uh, with the Google camera, it works flawless, all right, for both in front and back. That's what I really need. Um, so I'd rather sacrifice my other cameras to just to get this ROM. And you got Night Sight for the back camera, which works really well. I, need, I just need to find another Google camera that's going to enable all three cameras. As far as MUI camera, you know, you can use ANX camera, but I haven't got it to work with this GSI. You might have to install ROM for that. So it's still a work in progress, but I still really like it. Um, also, if you're using other phones like Samsung phones, Pixel phones, um, definitely try CR Droid because it's a GSI generic system image. So you can install on any other Android smartphone that supports Project Treble. Also, you get a ton of customization through CR Droid settings, uh, which you can find. You can go ahead and pretty much customize your status bar, um, all that good stuff, quick settings, all that good stuff, lock screen, uh, you can really customize your lock screen, all right, uh, navigation bar, you can use gestures, custom gestures, uh, buttons, you can go ahead and uh, customize, long press but power button for torch, uh, also you got the really good reboot menus for uh, rebooting straight into recovery bootloader system UI blah 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 animations you can customize this GSI is full of customization so if that's something you're looking for along with very good battery life performance uh, uh, certainly Xiaomi Mi 9 is actually one of the fastest out there as far as Snapdragon 855 remember I had the fastest world's fastest phone in the world uh, I had that special kernel uh, installed on there um so it is a really nice phone i would pick up a use xiaomi b9 i think for around 200 bucks i think it's a killer deal especially if you live in asia europe uh us if you're on at&t should be fine t-mobile it's all right you might get some dead spots because this is more for international markets but i really love my xiaomi b9 it's a perfect size i like the width it's not such a small phone like a, a pixel 4a it's slightly wide it's not too big it's a very good phone and also dual SIM, uh, which is great for travel. Uh, like I said, I could put this T-Mobile SIM card, I could put my a Korean SK Telecom SIM card and I could receive calls and messages from both. 
I really like it. Uh, if you guys are looking to get a Xiaomi phone and you don't want to spend too much money, you just want something fast. I tell you, if you install a custom GSI ROM on the Xiaomi devices, Xiaomi's are like the best deal in terms of performance. Uh, cameras, I mean, they're not the best out there, but you're going to get pretty decent camera performance, very good performance for fractions of what you pay for OnePlus. Uh, Samsung, LG, blah, blah, blah. So I might actually focus on more on Xiaomi products. Um, now I'll have a full guide on how to install this GSI next, so stay tuned. Uh, that's gonna be for all Xiaomi phones, pretty, pretty easy to do. You just basically uh, install the latest Movie 12 on Android 10, don't install Android 11, because um, you cannot install GSIs. And then go ahead and install Twerp, uh, Flash VB Meta, and install your ROM, reboot, and you're pretty much good to go on all the Android 10 ROMs. Now on the Android 11 ROMs, you can still install. There's a slight uh, hack you're gonna have to do, step-by-step -step process you have to do. I'll have a video on that also, uh, but definitely Xiaomi, one of my favorite phones. If you wanna get like an older Xiaomi phone, Xiaomi Mi 9 is perfect for GSIs. Uh, they work right out of the box. Mi 10 is also great, uh, or any of the, their li light ones. I might pick up a Mi, t uh, Mi 10 Lite soon. You know, any of the Xiaomi phones are great, and also Poco phones are great. You know, Poco phones are pretty much Xiaomi phones, rebranded. Um, they're also very good. Uh, I might pick up a Poco phone F2 Pro soon also. But working flawless here in Korean with the Korean network, 4G LTE looking great. Uh, really love it. I just really love how fast this thing works. It's just... It, it just works. It's, it's, um, you know, it's a workhorse and you never slow down between apps. You never have that problem of like, you know, uh, app freezing or something like Samsung, like slowing down. I mean, everything's just so fast. Really love it, you know. So definitely try recommend it, uh, especially if you want Root and also Google Pay. I mean, Samsung Pay is great, but these days, most places support Google Pay. As long as Google Pay works, um, you're going to have the same experience pretty much. Anyway, have a great day. And as always, stay on Android.